Pot of people in the place to be. What's going on? It's me. It's me. I'm a little worried about this one. I really am. We've had children on the two drink minimum before that have been met with mixed results. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. But this came across my news feeds for like a couple days in a row. HuffPo, Huffington Post did a piece spotlighting this. So here we go. Saffron Herndon is a young female comic. We're going to see. Look. Look. Brutal fucking honesty on this channel. Like it or not. I don't care how old you are. Her shit is on the internet. <laughs> you understand? She's got a thousand subscribers. This video has almost 261,000 views as I'm taping this. Come on. Let's fucking go. 25 thumbs downs versus 600 and almost 60 thumbs ups. Okay? She's big. She's got a big girl pants on. She's big girl enough to hit the stage. She's big girl enough to get some constructive but honest criticism. All right? All right, here we go. Safi Hyenas FW Saffron Herndon starts right now. Next coming to the stage, uh, this young lady is, uh, she's actually been making quite a splash on the uh, DFW comedy scene. And uh, it's amazing. Uh, she's way ahead of the uh, game. Ahead of her time, ladies and gentlemen, Safi Herndon. All right, we're going to see how this goes. I'm getting my drinks ready because I might need it. They don't know whether they'll laugh at that or not. So he makes you do comedy. <laughs> alright, alright. My I so I watched this show called The Flintstones on TV. No. Um no those woolly mammoth showers did look like a lot of fun. Were they a lot of fun? <laughs> so my my mom took me to the supermarket yesterday and there was an Asian food aisle. And that made me wonder, Asia? Is there a American food aisle? And if there is, what's in it? Hamburgers? High fructose corn syrup? Handguns? You know, shame. How old is she? You know, adopting the highway, that seems really hard. You know, you gotta take care of it, and clean it. But when it grows up, you have to tell it it's adopted. <laughs> Sorry, 635, I'm not your real mom. You got taken away from your real mom, because she has too many DUIs on her. That's right, she runs through a coma. <laughs> I couldn't hear that joke. So I caught a glimpse of my dad's yearbook. You know, why in the 80s did they purr everything? That's a good question. What do you know what to do with my bangs, Molly? Purr it. <laughs> Billy Ray, that's a sweet mullet. But be even sweeter if you purr it. <laughs> hey, look, I So after my last show, a man came up to me and said, Saffron, you're such an inspiration. If a little nine-year-old girl can do comedy, then so can I. Not necessarily. <laughs> There's a lot of things I can do that you probably can, you know, like I can draw a cat, I can doggy paddle, and I can talk to little nine-year-old girls while violating parole. <laughs> So my dad, my dad had to look up Ben Halen on YouTube, you know, on YouTube, you know, you can imagine how excited I was to find out that my dad was into drag queens.
Orleans. <laughs> but I love draft paintings way back, knowing your Barbie dolls, I know your Ken dolls, 20 to 1. Ken's gonna be a drag queen. Or a Mormon. <laughs> or maybe both. Ken, I want you to wear this dress. But I'm a boy, I don't want to. Listen, there are 20 of us and only one of you. You're gonna wear the dress. Give me the fairy princess purple dress. Give me the black stiletto. I'm gonna need spanked. I love Nirvana. Nirvana is my favorite band. so I can't at least see him in concert. When I told my dad this, he just said, well, why do you just wish he didn't kill himself? <laughs> yeah, dad, we not have the Foo Fighters. <laughs> wow! Does she get help with these? Kurt Cobain had to die for Brady Love since that Foo Fighters everlasting. I really hate the gifts that my grandparents get me. They got me kids about 25, you know? You can imagine how, oh wait, 25. The only way I would listen to that is if they took out the kids singing and the cheesy music so we could just call a kid silence. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a kid silence, 25, featuring a top head summer called. <laughs> she missed her cue, so that's why it didn't really work. I don't learn anything in my school. It's just that if I don't go, They'll put my mama in jail. <laughs> she looks like an old comic, too. You know, it's like a prison. My classroom seems like a jail cell. My mean teacher acts like a prison guard. And the cafeteria ladies are like miserable old cafeteria ladies. You touch it, you take it. But I didn't even, but I didn't even touch it. Stop talking, Mac. Next, rows after rows of children crying the lasagnas. And if this really was a prison, I would totally shake Jose. <laughs> Jose, you're in the fifth grade and you saw your mom beat you by hand. You little punk. <laughs> I got top bunk. <laughs> but you have time for one more? Yes, you do. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> and a bit of a command of the stage. Look at this. So I'll, I'll leave you guys on this one. Now that gay people can get married, I have a lot of questions. You know, like when lesbians get married, do they have two bridesmaids? <laughs> Are two best men? A bridesman? Maybe a schman? <laughs> And before the wedding, did they both go to the same bachelorette party? <laughs> and after the wedding, did they go on their honeymoon or just go straight to the SPCA and pick out their new family? <laughs> Thank you, the great Saffron Well, that was Saffron Herndon. Wow! I live right near a fucking laugh factory. I've gone there a couple of times. The only time I've gone there, I don't all that good. Like, they're we're gonna shit out, they're getting better at it, they weren't necessarily all that good. And I tried to watch this without the glasses of this is a nine-year-old saying this, but that's part of the presentation. This is a nine-year-old saying this shit. Like, she started talking about Kurt Cobain killing herself, the audience had no idea what to do. She was talking about shanking motherfuckers and rip the audience again. Was kind of like, okay, I'm not mad at that. Safi and Hyenas, you know how not mad at that I am? I'm going to click like on that shit. Very nice. Very nice. I see you. Woohoo. It reminds me of my childhood. Because I was one of those kids, I was always on a stage of some kind since I was like three years old. I always got the comments, oh, you, you speak so eloquently. You're just like a little fan. All the compliments that I'm sure she probably gets. I even tried my hand at stand-up comedy in high school with my high school best friend, Jose. 
We didn't actually get to do the big showcase performance because of some other prior commitments that I now wish I just didn't do. Because I think we had a good set uh, on our hands, and, and, I, and but we worked it out, and we worked it out with the comic. I think, in all honesty, we probably had the better set of any of the other high school kids that were there. There might have been one or two that were probably as good as us, but I think we had one of the better sets there. And I kind of wish that we had gone through with it. That is one of my huge regrets in life. But this little girl right here, she seems to be just doing it. And I don't know how much she's working with her parents. Like nine years old is old enough to kind of have a little bit of a grasp on the world. It really is. Like, I, I distinctly remember my ninth year. A lot of the things that I like today can vehemently be stemmed back to about that age group. One of the reasons why I love Latina girls so much is because when I was about eight or nine years old, there was a little girl in my class who I had a huge crush on. And then never left me. My love of professional wrestling came at about eight or nine years old. She had the crowd going and it wasn't just pity laughs. She had the crowd laughing and she had me smirking and chuckling a couple of times. Hat off to little Miss Saffron Herndon. I'm interested to see where her career goes, if anything at all. She's fucking nine years old. In three years, she could not want to do any of this shit anymore. She could want to be a fucking cheerleader. Part of people tell me what you think about this. Down there in the comment section, did you laugh? Did you not laugh? Did you think I was too nice to Saffron Herndon? Because let's let let's not forget, again, she's not the first kid to come to the attention of two drink minimum reactions. <laughs> and well, one of those kids in particular, their second outing was not as good as their first one. So to be fair, this was good. I would, you know, maybe we'll see some more from her. Who knows? Uh, I might be checking out a couple more of her videos to see if she can make the cut for a second one. But this first one was very good. Comment down there. Tell me what you think about this. Like, share, subscribe. YouTube.com slash real 469 Click on the little blue button that says support, and you will be supported. And that's a good thing. Boom. 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 Sit like city, sit like city, bitch. Sit like city, sit like city, bitch. Sit like city, sit like city, bitch.